family was good. Welcome to Doctors Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. Sorry I missed you all on yesterday, but I had serious migraine. I still have some lingering effects, but I know a few little remedies that I uh, always go back to when I get these migraines and they really help me out a lot. Today's video, I have an awesome lesson, especially for the new investors. And it's concerning a company I talk about all the time on this channel, DraftKings. They were hit with a short report today, and I'm going to let you and we know what I did and how I look at it and what I think about it. Before I get into it, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out. Comment down below. But most of all, family, share this with others. If you're looking for a brokerage account, I have a Webull link and the Robinhood link down in the description. You can go and check them out. If you use the links that I supply, you'll get free stock and I'll get some free stocks as well. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's go and check out what happened today with DraftKings and what I'm doing about it. Okay, so here we have uh, CNBC.com and you can read the caption, DraftKings stock falls after Hindenburg research reveals short position. And this was this morning. This was early this morning um, when this happened. So, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Hindenburg Research, they're uh, a company that really goes short on a lot of stock. They got they got a couple of them right. They got a lot of bunch of them wrong, and that's what they do. They just go short and they write what what's called hit reports, just bad things about a company to get the uh, stock to fall in order for them to make money. So that's what they do in order to make money. But let's get into this morning what was said. So in the report, Hindenburg compares DraftKings valuation to that of some of the rival firms. Some of the rival firms would be Penn and GNOG. Um, and it questions the company's promotional spend and future potential in a highly competitive sports gambling landscape. Let me tell you now, DraftKings is going to be the leader in the sports gambling landscape. They already are. So now, the report also alleges SBT, SB Tech, a company that merged with DraftKings as part of the SPAC deal, generates significant revenue from questionable gambling practices overseas and in the market. All right, so now let's look what CNBC had to say. Look, we got some breaking news right now. DraftKings shares, they are plunging right now. Hindenburg Research just out with a new short call on the stock. It's based on the three-way SPAC that brought DraftKings to the public market. Hindenburg alleging that the merger with Bulgaria's SB Tech brought exposure to extensive dealings in black market gaming, money laundering, and organized crime. Now, CBC has reached out to DraftKings for comment, but uh, we're going to get straight down to the New York Stock Exchange. Jim Kramer joins us now, and I'm very curious, Jim, to hear what you think about uh, this report. It's another SPAC. Uh, we should mention Hindenburg Research uh, also called out Nikola, which was a SPAC, uh, and happened to be right about that. Uh, we have... I have no inf notice what he just did. He just said the one that they got right. What about all the ones that Hindenburg research gets wrong? He didn't mention that at all. What's his agenda? Always think about what the person that you're disseminating the uh, information from, what is their agenda? He only called out the one that they got right. Didn't call out the one that they got wrong. Let's see what Jim Cramer says. And not that I believe that Jim Cramer is the know-all be all when it comes to stock. He gets many of them wrong also. But take what both of these guys say with a grain of salt. And that's why I always say, do your own research. All right, I'm gonna be quiet. Go ahead, get into the video. Information on uh, on, on exactly what they're alleging in this instance, but um, what's your quick takeaway? Yeah, I, I gotta go innocent till proven guilty because I haven't spoken to Nate, uh, Nate Weiss and Hindenburg. Uh, his work on uh, uh, Lordstown was, was brilliant. Uh, uh, Nikola was brilliant. There was a little pot stock. I'm not going to really say that he was wrong on it, but he just misjudged the market on it. It's called Grow Generation, and that was more of a valuation call. But uh, i got to do more than this because I think that the guys who run DraftKings, I, I have a program with them. I've always felt that they were good. But I, uh, Nate is a, a very thorough guy, and uh, he also got hurt on Clover. Uh, he was right on Clover and the facts, I believe, but then the meme guys went nuts on it. So I, I really want to go with an innocent till proven guilty because the guys I work with at DraftKings are great. You may say I'm biased because I have a program. So 
uh, but I, I have to disclose that, Andrew. But it, it, this is Hindenburg is uh, right now they're three for five, and uh, and they were really four for five until the meme guys went nuts on Clover. What what's the time? Okay. Notice. Let's get back into that. I want you, I want the family to notice how they phrase, how he free, how Jim Cramer phrased. He was brilliant when he got it right, but he just was a little bit off when he got it wrong. Just a little bit off on evaluation. Brilliant when he got it right, just a little bit off on evaluation when he got it wrong. Take all of these, cause these guys aren't analysts. Take what all of these talking heads say with a grain of salt. Do your own due diligence. I can tell you what's going to happen next with DraftKings. Now there's going to be some um, uh, legal activity. You're going to hear, you're going to see a bunch of lawyers, a bunch of uh, law firms come out and say they're doing this, some investigating. Uh, we may be filing a class action lawsuit, yada, yada, yada. We've seen this all before. Short report, short hit. Lawyers follow. Stock does nothing but go straight up. I've seen it so many times, made money on so many stocks by just following and going opposite of what the short report says and what the lawyers are doing. Do your own research, especially with a company like DraftKings, which is going to be the industry leader. Now, let's look at how the stock performed. This is a more, this is much more telling of what's going on. So that happened this morning. Fell big in the pre-market. It opened up at $44.90. Remember, it closed at 50 here. Previous close, 50.62. Opened up at 44. $8 loss in the morning. It quickly, and I mean quickly, from 9.30 to 11, hour and a half, it quickly made up 8%. And really didn't look back from there. $48.59 and it closed at $48.51. The market is telling you, look at what the market is telling you. The market is telling you it was a bargain at 44. They quickly bought it up. It tried to go back down and it couldn't breach 46. Tried a couple of times. Tried there, there, there here wouldn't pass 46. So it's showing you a good floor there. Got to 48 and just hung around between 48, 47, 48. I like DraftKings at this price. I like DraftKings at anything under 50. But let's see what the market does on tomorrow. This 4% loss could very well be to um, just a red day. Today was a red day and everything was down. In my uh, high risk account, I only had three companies, three stocks that were green. Everything else was red. Like Neo was red. Um, of course, um, Virgin Galactic was red. Even my Home Depot, everything was red. So don't take, take all of that with a grain of salt. It was just a red day in the market. And that could very well be the reason, one of the reasons, including the short report, why DraftKings was down. So don't panic too much. Now, another thing that I did, right here, when it was at 46, in, in the $46 range, I bought a couple of call options. That's how much I believe DraftKings is gonna be up. And I'm already up on those call options. Already. Got them at 46, it closed at 48. So I'm already up in the call options that I purchased for DraftKings. And I purchased them with the um, with the August, I believe it's the August 20th expiration date. So I'm not even worried about DraftKings. I know I bring it up a lot on this channel. And if anybody did their due diligence after I brought it up and you got into it also, and there was any kind of uh, hesitation or panicking, don't sell at this loss if you bought it in the 50s. Don't sell at this loss because of that short report. Don't sell at a loss because you see what the, because some uh, law firms are going to get, get into it. Do your own due diligence. 
understand the reasoning why people write short reports and uh, why the CNBC analysts, not, I shouldn't call them analysts, why the CNBC talking heads may be backing it. But you can see Jim Cramer didn't know which way to go because he's cool with the guys at DraftKings and he's cool with the uh, with the guys at Hindenburg Research. So he didn't know which way to go. Guys, that's, this is why it's so important for us as retail investors to do our own due diligence. The last thing I want to bring up about DraftKings, and this is not a reason for me or anyone else to invest, but like Jim Cramer said, if the mean guys, the Redditors, the apes, they get on top of this because it's being short. You know, anytime these companies start shorting stocks now, you guys jump all over it, buy it up just to destroy the shorts. If that happens, you can believe DraftKings is going to run up. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I have no idea. That's not even the reason I'm in DraftKings. I'm in DraftKings because I truly like company and I truly believe they are the leaders in the sports betting industry and the sports betting industry is going to be doing multiples for years to come. However, if the meme guys, the Redditors, apes get on top of this and send it to the moon, that's even better for us. And I hope Hollenberg Research gets crushed. All right, family. That's what I have for you in this video. I just wanted to touch on DraftKings because I talk about it so much on this channel. And I guys want to let you know I am still bullish on it. I bought all options after this hit piece. Don't worry, family. But Definitely go out and do your own research. I am not a financial advisor, and neither was those guys on CNBC or the guys at Hidden Bird Research. All righty. If you're getting anything from this video, I kindly ask, hit that thumbs up for me. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. But most of all, share this with others. I'm going to be ending this with a prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Glorious Heavenly Father. Thank you for giving us the tools and the resources to do research, Lord God, on the financial markets, Lord Heavenly Father, and with our investments. Please help us to become better researchers. Please help us, please give us the wisdom and knowledge to become better investors, Lord God. Please help us to win and dominate in the stock market, Lord God. Heavenly Father, bless our families, the generations to come with financial independence and financial freedom. May our cup run it over, Heavenly Father. Bless us so that we can be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Family, be blessed.